Eight, this means that an investor in derivative financial contracts can benefit both when stock prices fall and when they rise, depending on whether they take a buying or selling position. In a declining market like the current one, you can engage in derivatives contracts to earn profits on stocks whose prices continue to decrease. Nine, the cost of a derivatives contract is determined by the price of the underlying stocks. If the stock is priced below 100 shillings, like a Safaricom or a KCB stock, one contract is worth 1,000 stocks. For stocks priced above 100 shillings, like BAT and EABL, one contract corresponds to 100 stocks. For example, again, if you decided to buy a Safaricom derivatives contract, while the stock is trading at 14 shillings, the overall cost of the derivatives contract will be 14 shillings times 1,000 stocks, a total of 14,000 shillings for one derivatives contract. However, one of the benefits of trading in derivatives is what we call margin. This means that you're only required to give a percentage of the total cost of the contract, approximately 17%. Thus, you'd only need about 2,500 shillings to enter this contract worth 14,000 shillings. And therefore, you'd make a profit on the entire 1,000 stocks, although you only gave a small percentage in order to speculate on this trade. However, keep in mind that if you made a loss, you'd also make a loss on the entire 1,000 stocks, although you only gave a small percentage in order to speculate on this trade. This means that you can basically trade 1,000 Safaricom stocks with only 2,500 shillings, using a derivatives financial contract, when in the actual stock market, you would need the total 14,000 shillings in order to speculate on these stocks. Interested in learning more about derivatives? Contact the email on the screen. Invest with AIB Axis Africa and grow with us.